Wise men say that rushing is violence, and so is your silence when it's rooted in compliance. To stand firm in loving the Okay. Okay. Ready, steady. <laughs> Ready, steady. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Sarah. Hi. Sarah, it's your name, right? Yes. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Sarah. Sarah. I used to uh, ask people, my first question is uh, often about name. Do you actually know what your name means? Um, it's actually a Hebrew name from the Bible. Um, but no, I don't know what it, what it means in Hebrew. I find that it means pure and happy. Oh! Originally from it, like Arabic. Yeah. Do you agree with this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always happy and I'm as pure as the driven snow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Can you uh, introduce yourself shortly? Yeah, okay. Well, um, I'm British. Um, I've been living in Gozo for s over seven years, nearly, nearly eight years. Um, and I came here because my children were grown up, I wasn't with my husband anymore and I had no ties to stay in the UK so mm -hmm. I thought where can I go and I stuck a pin in a map mm -hmm. and I packed a very small bag and I came and I thought I'd stay here for a year and uh, seven years later I'm still here so along the way I met a lot of artists here and healers and um, people that were on the same wavelength as me um, and I, I made a lot of friends and I thought, okay, we stay. And you know, I, I, I've, this isn't the first uh, gallery I've had. I've been in Victoria in a very beautiful old uh, mill house down behind the basilica. Then I went to the craft village and then I came here. So this is, I've been here for two and a half years now. Um, so, I've been an artist all my life, I mean, I, I, I did a degree in textile design and I worked um, in the UK as an artist, um, so it's just an extension, an ex mm -hmm. extension of... So this uh, path of artist is like for all, all your life? Yes. Or you do something yes. like about Well, I, 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 it, it's run alongside, mm -hmm. um, I used to run the family business with my ex-husband for uh, for many years but my art always ran alongside so I was always doing exhibitions or something but yes I, I it's been all my life yeah a gozo you you choose this place like uh, consciously you you uh, no 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 there? I'd only ever been here once before I came to Malta um, a long time ago and I came to Gozo just for one day on the ferry, just came mm -hmm. for one day. And I, I wasn't feeling very well on that day, so I didn't really take, mm -hmm. take it in. But many years later when I thought, where shall I go? Where shall I go and live in Europe? And I stuck the pin in the map and it came very close to Malta, in the sea, but... You mean you stuck, you, you like just... By Close my eyes, really? yeah, like this. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, really? <laughs> you do it? And if it was like Australia, yeah. you go to Australia. Well, no, 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 in Europe, in, in Europe, Europe, just Europe, because I knew I needed to be quite close to the UK for the rest of my family. So I thought, oh, where shall yeah. I go? Uh, like this. And it was in the sea, but very close to Malta. So I thought, oh, okay, well, I've been there before. It was, you know, I quite liked it. We'll go and see. So you're very brave, or like, I don't know how to say, I want touristic, like, just put this on the map and go. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. I'm interested because. I ask people why they come in here and it's, uh, I don't know, if you believe that some place have some energy and... Uh, Absolutely. How do you feel this, this place? Um, it's, it has a really powerful energy, mm. uh, really powerful energy and it draws, I believe, it draws people here. Uh -huh. So maybe sometimes you don't have a choice. So you so for me sticking the pin in the map was the universe just moving my hand like this. So I came and uh, I liked it. Um, but I know people who come here because they have thought, oh, I want to live in the sun. We'll go to Malta, and they don't stay. They can't stay. The energy is too strong for them. 
Um, so for people like you probably too that you just ended up here maybe I'm trying to understand why I am here actually yeah. that's why I ask a lot of people why they come here why I never hear about this place I never yeah, dream about exactly. being here but I'm exactly. here and I'm trying you know yeah. oh actually it's all question what I ask another Peter it's what I want to do well know. yes yeah but I mean but maybe you have a, a reason for being here so this is why you've been pulled into Gozo my reason was to concentrate on my art completely, mm -hmm. not have um, distractions of family, because my children are adults now, or working in a business that, um, you know, was taking my distractions away from my art. So here mm -hmm. I'm able to, to concentrate on. So let's talk a little bit about your art. Okay. When I'm walking down the street and see a lot of um, shops or gallery here, uh, this is something different for me. I remember the first time I'm visiting this place. It, it's a little bit magic. I'm not actually, I'm not learning a lot about uh, art, but art for me is something or you feel it or doesn't feel it. And uh, the first one I want to say that it has one style, like all your arts is like something, it's sea, it's... Uh, atmosphere of something I don't know what it is but I uh, read <laughs> that uh, it's Wabi Sabi Wabi Sabi Wabi Sabi what is it um, Wabi Sabi is a Japanese idea that um, things never stay the same things mm -hmm. are always changing and that um, there is beauty in the um, distressed, the worn, the thrown away, the so it, it, it's all about, um, you know, for me it means it's a connection to the earth that um, mm -hmm. I find things on my walks, mm -hmm. um, I pick them up, I bring them back and they sit here, you know, for, yeah. for months and then somehow I put them together so uh, yeah, it's about seeing beauty in, in old things that other people wouldn't uh -huh. wouldn't i found that it's this wabi sabi nothing lasts nothing yeah. is finished and nothing is perfect yes and this is this yes this is it okay. yeah because you know people say to me sometimes oh why didn't you cut the end off that bit of wood to make uh -huh. like this one for example the one with the cliffs yes. why didn't you cut the wood so it was straight mm -hmm. But I found it like that, so that's how it is. <laughs> I all the time think about per perfectionist yes. people, like it's something the opposite. Yes, yes. yes. It's not like it shouldn't be uh, yeah. everything yeah. perfect. Just yeah, yes. yeah. Like as it as it is, yeah, as you find as, it. As nature, because yes. never tree or leaf mm. is never perfect, just like it is. I also want to ask about uh, when I was before here, and uh, very excited about this woman in your paintings. And uh, can you say most about it? Because uh, you said it's a medicine woman, uh, and uh, she coming in your dreams to you. Uh, can you say a little yeah. bit more? About yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, she's been coming to me in my painting for quite a number of years now, and she first appeared um, a bit like the one behind you with a, she had a, a turban on. She was. Um, seemed to be coming from a hot country because the turban is not not about religion but about keeping your head yes, cool yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so um and she'd got um a drum with her and she'd got all her medicine bags and all her bits and pieces that she carried her herbs to to heal so the plants to heal and um she just came to me in a dream one time and I thought, oh, I might, I might try and paint, try and paint this. So I started painting her um, and I did the first one and it was, a, it was very like the dream I'd had. And then after that, she just kept wanting to be painted. So I'd start a painting that was nothing to do with her. And then it, she would just appear in the painting. So I don't know whether you can understand what I mean. It was... Um, so for example this is like a at the moment i'm looking at it like cliffs mm -hmm. but i would then maybe another day see a face oh, yeah. coming uh -huh. so then i would start painting around the uh -huh. face uh -huh. and 
it was always her. She always came somewhere in the painting. So um, all my, a lot of my paintings, she she just appears. And it, how do you explain to yourself who is she and why? Um, she come? I don't know. I think maybe she's an alter ego. Maybe she's me in a past life. Maybe she's a spirit guide. Um, I don't know. But she always comes with um, a message. Mm -hmm. So, um, for a long time she had a drum, like, like my shamanic drum. I made this at the weekend. So, um, she always had a drum, so like this one she would, you know, carry, carry her drum. And then, after I was painting her with her drum, I realized, oh, okay, well, maybe I should have a drum. So um, I bought a drum a long time ago um, and started playing it. This, this one I made. Is it something like personal? You can, I mean, another person can touch it. You shouldn't really. Should, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what is it made from? This, it's this? deer, deer skin. Deer skin? Wow, where? where are you? Oh, not on Gozo. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> I've now started a, um, sa this is called a sacred drum, it's a medicine drum, it's different because it's got two sides, yeah, rather than the ones with, with the things at the back. So I am learning to be a sacred drum healer. Mm. Yeah, and basically this this woman has been telling me to do this for a long time and it's only now that oh it just kind of all slotted into place. I met the person that was going to teach me it, mm. it, and it all kind of came together. So, um, yeah, so I have, I've only just made this. I made this at the weekend. Um, it took me two days to make, two full days to make. Um, I haven't finished the handle yet, and I haven't finished the beater, but... Um, so this... Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm just <laughs> impressed because I never see it so close. And this is also... You have this little bag uh, here. Oh, uh, this, this is my medicine bag. You know, it's very popular in, in YouTube, this, like... I can't, I can't like, take it. What I have in my bag, but it's cosmetic. <laughs> Can I can tell. I can tell you, but I can't open it. Okay. 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 So I have a crow's foot, a crow, the bird, the black bird. Ah, yes. I have a, a claw. Ah, okay. Because the crow is um, one of my totem animals, uh -huh. and um, it's about magic. So making magic in your life, and I don't mean like um, like making spells but just for me to appreciate the magic in my life. Uh -huh. Yeah. I have a piece of <clears throat> amber. Amber which is the the resin that comes out of a tree and catches the mosquito. That connects me to uh, my ancestors yeah, and all of that. Um, I have a stone with a hole in it, which a stone with yes, a hole in I, it. I read about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I have a shell from Gozo. The stone with a hole in it is from Gozo, and I have a Gozo crystal. Mm -hmm. You know Gozo, Gozo? crystals. Yeah. I, I want to hear about you about these stones with uh, uh, with this hole. Yes. They're called hagstones. Yes. Well, that's the common name for them, hagstones, witch stones. Uh -huh. And you're supposed to be able to, if you look through the hole, uh -huh. you can see through into through the veil. Um, the veil is the thin uh, that separates us from another dimension. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's it's like the the essence that separates you and me from mm -hmm. another dimension. And if you look through the hole, you can mm -hmm. see through see through. You find it. Yes, yeah, so I find them in Gozo. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then the crystal. Mm -hmm. This is um, Gozo crystal, and when it rains, the crystal comes up to the surface, and it's called mm -hmm. 
honey calcite. Oh wow, I didn't know it. Um, you also find it. Already. Yeah, yeah, you can find it all over the place. But this is this is what um, makes the the island so powerful ah. because it the whole island is sitting is is ah. this crystal, and it the properties are. Um, it amplifies energy, mm -hmm. so it makes the energy stronger, which oh, is why, yeah, oh, which is why I've got I've got boxes of them. <laughs> I just yeah. collect them all the time. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. So yeah, so that's and it's a very healing. Um, healing, yeah, like all these crystals. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. I, uh, oh, well, I just have to go in yes, and. Yes. Okay, so. We can try. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Glasses. What is the quality you most like in a man? Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> be careful what I say here because my. <laughs> I think. Um, um, honesty. Mm. Honesty is very important. I think you can't have a relationship with anybody with, unless they're honest. Okay. Thanks, once again. Another one? <laughs> yes. Um, what do you most value in your friends? Um, loyalty. Loyalty. Okay. <laughs> I want five. This but is fun. That's okay. I don't mind. Okay. I don't mind. I could answer all of these. What is the trait you most deplore in others? Um, um, hmm. Not sure. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to cut this. Some questions they need. Uh, what is the trait you most deplore in others? I don't know, I might come back to that one. Okay. I can't think. Uh, what is the trait you most deplore in yourself? Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, well, probably what I dislike about myself most is probably what I dislike in others, as we're all a mirror. Yes. Yeah, we're all a mirror. Um, well, I think probably... Um, Sometimes I don't listen enough to people. Don't listen enough. So I'm busy talking, but I'm not, no. maybe I'm not listening enough. And actually that's something that uh. I find irritating in other people uh. is that, you know, they're talking to me, but they're not really listening. Uh. They're thinking about what they're doing tomorrow or... Uh. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it's, you know, it's a lot yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. So. Okay, the last one. <laughs> Okay. What are your favourite names? Um, well, the name of my son. Is it him? Because I no, no, this is my friend. friend. No, no, okay. my children are older than this. <laughs> uh, my name of uh, my son is Peregrine. Wow. And really? Peregrine. It's, uh, well, there's a bird called a peregrine, mm -hmm. it's a falcon that flies very, very fast. I associate with the film, with this Mr. Pilgrim, this yeah. Eva Green, or uh, I don't know, this actress. About magic also. Oh, okay. Film. Oh, yes, I know. Yes, you yes, know, yes. I yeah. this um, And there's also um, an 11th century Italian saint called Peregrine. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, no, and that's not why I chose it, but I just really like the name. Mm -hmm. And... Um, girl's name well my daughter is called Alice which I really like but mm -hmm. I also like um, Clementine mm -hmm. which is another I like old-fashioned names ah. yeah so sort of very old English names oh, yeah. Very old English. Yeah. nice <laughs> okay and I need to ask about this your dress what is it ah this um, my daughter has a um, a company where she it's all about uh, slow fashion and this is one of the things she bought she gets these made in Uzbekistan 
Oh my God, I were born in Kazakhstan, you know? Oh, very close really? To, really? Oh, okay. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's an old vintage fabric which yes. somebody has made up into a coat and I like this one, so I bought it. Yeah, <laughs> Say, I read it in your or blog or something, I don't know, in Facebook somewhere that uh, you said that there is no mistakes in art. No, there aren't. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm a great believer that, um, well, one, you can paint over anything. Mm -hmm. And also you learn by what you might consider a mistake. So it's not really a mistake. You, you, um, you learn from the way you've done something. Um, a finished painting is only as finished as the artist feels it's finished mm. so um, yeah again there's no mistakes and I teach um, intuitive painting which means that you have no idea of what you're going to do what the finished piece is going to look like before you start so I encourage people to make mistakes to make a mess to mm. because you will find something that comes out of it so mm. if you're too rigid in your thinking um, your painting is very tight and um, it doesn't flow mm -hmm. but if you allow yourself to make mistakes mm -hmm. um, quite often one is surprised at the outcome so no I don't think there are any mistakes in painting. Can we also say the same about life? Yeah um, everything is a lesson in life um, our biggest mistakes are our biggest teachers Mm. So um, no, nothing, no, nothing's wasted. No time is wasted. I mean, you can sit at home not doing anything, wasting a day. But actually, you might have needed that. You might have needed that day of rest. So it wasn't a wasted day. It was a day where you needed mm. to be quiet and to just go within yourself. So yeah, I think um, no there are the, no, no, there are no mistakes. <sighs> And only uh, this one who do nothing and make no mistakes. Yes, that's also the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I, I just took it from you. <laughs> you, you, you can ask for, for this one. <laughs> oh, I don't know. So if I, if I, if if I made... If you cut, what you uh, will tell God, me? God. God, God, God. What do you tell him? Um, well, I don't believe it's what it's a person for a start. Yes. Uh, because I believe God is in here, so I'm not sure what I would say. <laughs> Wise men say that rushing is violence, and so is your silence when it's rooted in compliance. To stand firm in loving defiance, make art your alliance, give voice to the fire. Move people to the beat of the wind, gather yourself and begin to dance the song until it ends. We are winners, champions of the light, forming in numbers and might. Keep the truth close in sight. Medicine inside. woman, medicine man, walk in with grace. I know your face. And Trust your hand, medicine woman, medicine man. Walk in with grace, I know your face, and I trust your hands. Find your teachers in the voice of the forest. Some plug you can't ignore this wisdom of the voiceless. Remedies are bound to fall and surround us From the garden to the farthest Prayer made of stardust Find your healing in the music that calls you The voice that enthralls you What do you belong to? Eyes out, there's the setting of the sun Give thanks to each and every one The lesson is the medicine woman Medicine man Walk in with grace I know your face and I trust your hand